All right, these are our germinating tables. It's a homemade uh, bench with four shelves. Uh, we've got heat mats on them that are four feet wide by eight feet long. There's four of them, and they go down to a thermostatic controller each one would plug into. We've got a plug uh, labeled with a number for each shelf number. We plug it in right here. Um, we then can take a thermostat and you stick it into one of the plug trays in the soil. Um, one that we usually have one dedicated, a tray dedicated here on the end that this goes into. Um, you got to keep make sure that stays moist so that the the temperature gets conducted to this thermostat, and it will tell this controller what the temperature is, so you can decide how warm you want it. Um, we turn the thermostat controller up. The light on the bottom will come on indicating that it's it's calling for heat and whatever shelf we have plugged in will heat up uh, depending on what stage we're at we may not have all of them running at one time um, this time of year um, by the end of the week we'll have it loaded up with onion seeds and they'll they'll all be running a couple different uh, components to this of what they what they ask for um, obviously you want this down on a, a clean smooth surface with no uh, no um, sharp screws or anything pointing through. It's probably good if it was on top of a uh, piece of insulation, but we didn't do that. And then they want you to put a screen on top of it for, for grounding in case you do have a short or break somewhere in it. Um, it, can, it can connect back to a ground connection back here on the thermostat. So we've got, we've got a, a screw and a, a nut here holding down a wire on each one of the screens. and then that comes back to the ground on the controller. Um, then obviously you gotta protect all this from water. So what Sue's working on now is she's putting a layer of, um, how many mil plastic is that, Sue? This is a one and a half mil. That's it? I thought it was more than that. So she's gonna lay the plastic over the top. 3.5 mil. It's 3.5 mil. We got it, we just got it at Home Depot. It's uh, 10 foot by 25 foot. So we're gonna lay that over the top. We're gonna to use drip tape and and screw it down on the sides to uh, hold it down. I'll show you that as Sue gets into that. And then and then when you're, you're spraying the water, all the plants on top of here, you're not really getting water through to this these electrical components uh, for the most part. One thing you want to take note of is that this does draw a fair amount of current. Um, it's probably good if you have it on a 15 or 20 amp dedicated breaker. We've had it connected via a power strip before and come out the next morning and it's off and took a little, a little while to troubleshoot that it was actually just tripping the power strip. So we plug it directly into the outlet now to avoid that. We just, we use the, um, once the seeds germinate, we take them right off of here. So it doesn't matter that some of them get shaded. Um, so we figured we use the vertical space uh, better rather than just using the um, horizontal space and laying them all out. Each um, shelf can hold 16 of the regular 10 by 20 size trays. So we can get a good amount of um, seeds started on these tables.